What's going on everybody, Jam is here back with another Street Fighter 5 video and this video will be covering the third part in the A Beginner's Guide to Armika series. Now I've had quite a few people ask me to produce a video based on this topic as it's something that anyone and everyone can struggle with no matter the skill level. Theoretically this video should have been the first one uploaded in the series but the previous two had more of a demand. Better late than never I suppose. So we have executed a couple of combos and we have demonstrated how to anti-air. But now let us focus on another important factor that you want to consider when playing Armika and that something is go to normal attacks. So within fighting games there's the neutral aspect and within that neutral aspect you will need to know your character's buttons and how to use them. The first button you guys are seeing here is one I've shown before and one that you are very familiar with and that is the infamous charge stand hard kick. This evidently is Mika's easy way in as it travels a fair distance and is a button that Mika can earn great mileage from. On hit you get a regular combo but on counter hit it will connect as a crush counter that earns Mika more damage, builds V meter and sends the opponent close to the corner. If the drop kick is blocked however Mika is still left in a beneficial position and can take action before her opponent can. Please be mindful that there is a plethora of ways for the opponent to deal with the drop kick, from reacting with crush counters themselves all the way to the dedicated special attacks that severely punish it. The next attack you are seeing here is Mika's general go to poking tool as well as an annoying button for opponents to deal with in general and that is standing medium kick. Now there's two versions to this button, one where Mika does it while stationary and the other where Mika moves herself forward. For the most part you don't get much mileage from this button unless you're in a very particular situation but as stated earlier this is the general poking tool for Mika and can deal with quite a few buttons used by other characters. Now despite stand medium kick being a abusable button pretty much anywhere on screen, again be mindful that it does come at a price. If the opponent stands at the correct distance and has resources they can net a pretty hard punish. This third normal attack you are looking at now is Mika's next poking tool outside of stand medium kick and another bothersome button and that is crouching medium kick. Now just like standing medium kick, crouching medium kick can challenge quite a few buttons used by other characters in the neutral but where stand medium kick lacks, crouching medium kick excels. If you connect crouch medium kick right next to the opponent you can actually get a small follow up and on counter hit it becomes slightly better. But the best thing about this beauty of a button is when you have V trigger 1 available. This means you can get a decent conversion which leads into another advantageous position for Armika. It can be either a setup post wingless airplane or a reset from the crouch beating punch. But please remember for this entire situation you're gonna need your resources. Now for the majority of this video I have only spoken about Mika's kick buttons. But I can't talk about what attacks to use for the character without mentioning the notorious standing medium punch. Standing medium punch is one of the best medium attacks in Street Fighter 5 but that's my personal opinion. When you think of combos with Armika, you think of stand medium punch as it plays a big part in those combos. But in terms of utility outside of that, stand medium punch also acts as a great counter poke, which you need meter to properly convert from. And it can also be used to punish arbitrary dashes which you need to anticipate. One last thing to mention is that if stand medium punch is blocked, Mika is safe from being punished by the vast majority of moves in the game but she is not left there in an advantageous position. If she tries to continue pressure after stand medium punch is blocked, she will potentially be put in a cannon state due to the opponents being able to take action before her. And that's all for this video people, 4 attacks that you definitely should be implementing into your Armika gameplay. Head over to training mode to see the utility and mileage you get from all the buttons in Mika's arsenal. What happens on hit, what happens on block, what happens up close as opposed to far away. These are the types of things you need to consider when looking into how normal attacks should and can be used. Now there's a lot of normal attacks I didn't mention in this video because they're all about being brief and it isn't the objective to overwhelm you at this point in time. I will do a proper video on all of Mika's normals at a later date. Let me know how you felt about the video in the comments below. Was the information useful? Do you think I should have covered a different normal attack instead of the one showcased? All feedback is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video and haven't subscribed to the channel then why not subscribe, if not then it's not the end of the world. I will also leave my other social media outlets in the description below if you wish to follow me on those as well. Now for the next video your choices are either Mika's throws and how they work and what you can get from them 
or how Mika works with the V system. So the V reversal, the V trigger, the V skill. This has been your boy HC Jammers and I'll see you guys in the next Street Fighter 5 video. So until then, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.